Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I'm making something called Lomo Soltado. It's a Peruvian dish, and my friend just kept telling me, you've got to make this, it's so good and very easy. Okay, <laughs> she has been talking about it forever. I looked at a lot of videos, saw a lot of recipes about it. I narrowed it down to a very basic recipe, very easy actually, and uh, sounds like it's gonna be good. So we're gonna try this. I'm gonna bring you in closer. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in it. So let's do it. So for this recipe, I'm going to use some steak. You can use skirt steak or sirloin steak. I've seen it made with various types of steaks. You have to make them in long strips. One medium tomato and a half of a red onion. A little bit of cilantro, some garlic. And right here I have two tablespoons separated. This is vegetable oil, soy sauce, a little tiny bit of salt because I'm using the soy sauce, and some pepper. This is white vinegar. And this is the secret weapon, the thing that makes this a true Peruvian dish, yellow hot pepper, aji amarillo. It is what makes this Peruvian. It is a Peruvian product and it's supposed to be spicy and makes it taste so yummy according to my friend. So let me also show you. The side dishes to this dish, it's always served with french fries, and steam rice. <laughs> I know, two starches, but that's the way they serve it if you go to a Peruvian restaurant. Okay, let's get this started. First, I'm going to start baking these just according to the package directions. These are frozen french fries, which I noticed that a lot of people did. I already made my rice. Let's do this. My french fries are well on their way. So first, I'm just going to chop up my garlic, just like that. So when it comes to your tomatoes, you're supposed to cut them kind of thick slices. Okay, like this. Now here's your onion, and same thing, you're going to chop it into thick slices. Okay, like that. And your cilantro, you're just going to cut it into nice small pieces. Just chop it up. It's just a small amount. So I cut up my onion and my tomato into kind of big, thick strips. So everybody does everything differently. They have a different style and the way they do it. This is soy sauce. I'm going to add everything to a bowl. This is my garlic. This is vinegar, and this is that aji amarillo. So now I have everything in my bowl. I'm gonna mix it all together. When it comes to sauces, things like that, I like to mix them all together in a bowl. When I pour them on the meat, it gets everywhere. Okay, this is my wok. I'm adding one tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm going to add my meat. Okay, so I spread it out a little bit. Now I'm going to add my salt and pepper. Remember, that's just a small amount of salt that I'm adding. Okay, I'm going to cook that up for a few minutes. Get it some brownness. Okay, so it's been six minutes and the majority of that, that juice has dried, still a little bit. Now I'm gonna move everything to the side. I'm gonna add the second vegetable oil tablespoon. And now I'm gonna add my tomatoes and my onions. Now I'm gonna let this cook up for a few minutes just to allow them to soften up. So 
I've let it cook for two minutes with, with the tomato and the onion, now I'm going to add my sauce. This is where all the flavor comes in. Oh my goodness, you can tell that this is going to be really good. Okay, I'm hearing my friend's voice telling me, you're going to love it. <laughs> so I'm going to give this maybe another minute or two, and I think it's pretty much done. Okay, look at this. Is this a beautiful dish? I've added the cilantro. This is exactly the way they would serve it to you at a Peruvian restaurant. It's lomo saltado with the french fries. Now, sometimes you'll see a recipe and they have added the french fries along with the stir fry all together so that the juice goes all over the potatoes. You'll see it done both ways, but either way, it's a really beautiful dish. Okay, I'm going to serve myself and I'm going to give you my true opinion. Okay, so I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I've never made this before. Okay, here's the meat. It does have a really good flavor. I was waiting for a spicy because of that um, ahi pepper. Not too spicy, just a little hint, just a little hint of spicy, but it's good. It's good. It has a good flavor. You have the soy sauce, the vinegar, um, and that spicy. The spicy is very, very minimal, very slight, but it has a good flavor. It has a real good flavor. Okay. Thank you, Anita. She's going to be watching this. <laughs> Anyway, she's the, my friend is the inspiration for this meal. She's been telling me about it. It's good. It's really good. It's very popular. Peruvian Lomo Soltado. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.